From Highway 183, Rocket Ranch, the main manufacturing site for Firefly Aerospace, is hard to miss. The site in Briggs between Liberty Hill and Lampasas has grown from a small engine test stand to a sprawling space-age complex. This ceremony Wednesday is the official opening of an expansion project. Firefly is building the new Antares 330 rocket for Northrop Grumman. We move fast at Firefly, there is no question about it. But we don't have a choice but to move fast. Rated as a medium launch vehicle, the A330 rocket will be used to launch satellites and deliver cargo to the space station. We are on the cusp of really doing a game changer in our market space to provide more capability to the U.S., to international and to the overall space industry. The Rocket Ranch expansion includes new high-tech equipment that will form and assemble the rocket. We are definitely trailblazing new ground when it comes to this technology. As part of the expansion project, a larger engine thrust stand is being built to test Firefly's powerful new engines. A 100-foot structural test stand will also be completed in June, bringing a total of six stands to Rocket Ranch. I was in the Army as a helicopter mechanic, and uh, I never imagined I would be doing something like this, but uh, I'm happy that I am. And uh, a lot of those, you know, skill sets that you would learn in the military, we have a lot of military individuals here. Um, a lot of those skill sets transition easily to us, and, you know, we just keep a robust training program to make sure that we can, uh, you know, roll people into what the expectations are for aerospace grade. Here in Cedar Park, Firefly has built its own mission control room. That's it directly behind me. And later on this year, people will be inside watching a trip to the moon. Firefly's lunar lander, known as the Blue Ghost, is being assembled in Cedar Park. The project will deliver equipment that NASA needs as part of its manned mission to the moon. It's very exciting to finally see it start to come together. Um, it's, we've got all of the components there. It's starting to look like a lander. It's not just, you know, PowerPoint pictures and CAD models anymore. So it is, it is very exciting for the team as it starts to come together. Blue Ghost follows the Odysseus lander built by a Houston company that had a rough landing earlier in February. Project managers at Firefly say the lesson from Odysseus is to be prepared for a system failure. There are no guarantees in space, but, but we are as prepared as, as we can reasonably be. As Firefly expands its mission into space, company leaders say they will continue to provide more high-tech jobs in Central Texas.